the challenger as part of the empowerment triangle. A reminder that the challenger is the positive alternative to the persecutor. In relationships to others, a challenger consciously builds others up. Write that down. A challenger consciously builds others up, encouraging them to also learn and grow despite difficult situations. Challengers are catalysts, catalysts for learning and are willing to stand for the vision even when others do not. Write that down. Willing to stand for the vision even when others do not. Rather than criticizing or blaming, a challenger inspires others to reach for the highest good of all involved. And a challenger is willing to shake things up and go to the heart of the matter. Challengers are sometimes called the truth tellers in service to outcomes and the co-creators with whom they interact. As highly sensitive entrepreneurs, as highly sensitive leaders, we are called into this space of challenger for others and challenger for self. So according to the happiness advantage, our challenges are our key to happiness. What? Let's write that down. Our challenges are our key to happiness. The happiness advantage research shows that just a small amount of gratitude expressed consistently and differently will move a person who scores in the lowest percentile of pessimism, like the most pessimistic you could possibly be, just engaging in a gratitude expression daily for 21 days will move that ultimately pessimistic person into the lowest percentile of optimism. 